Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmacist Point. Today's video is how to calculate insulin dose part 5. If you have not watched from part 1 to 4, I have put the link below the description box. Go and watch those videos that come to part 5. And in this video, we are going to discuss about insulin infusion and insulin sliding scale. So this thing is same you guys insulin infusion and insulin sliding scale is same so when does the patient require insulin infusions when does the patient require insulin infusions so if hyperglycemic patients are there in the icu for more than three days critically ill patients patients who cannot take food post cardiac surgery diabetic patients on steroids so for these category of patients we go for insulin infusions and the target range of blood glucose level is like between 140 to 180 milligram per deciliter so this is the goal for such patients so regular insulin is used as insulin infusion 100 units in 100 cc of normal saline starting dose of insulin infusion for type 1 diabetes is 0.5 to 1 unit per hour and for type 2 diabetes or poor control 2 to 3 units per hour now there is also weight based dosing where true weight is taken not an ideal weight for diabetic keto acidosis 0.1 units per kg is preferred per hour and for non keto acidosis 0.05 units per hour so basically for type 1 diabetes we start with a very low dose and for type 2 diabetes it can be 2 to 3 units per hour after this blood glucose should be monitored like every 30 to 1 hour now insulin sliding scale or insulin infusion rates that is variable rate of intravenous insulin infusion scale everything is same so there are more than 20 protocols so every hospital or institution will have their own insulin infusion protocol so this is one from the british journal of diabetes here you can see where the different blood glucose levels are given in the first column then after that for insulin knife patients who are having a TDI less than 24 units per day you can see how their dosing comes if it's like around 145 0.8 to 216 milligram per deciliter only one unit is required standard rate is the first choice in most patients so here you can see how the insulin units vary when the blood glucose level increases and coming to increased rate where there where it's an insulin resistant patient who require more than 100 units per day now i'll show you another scale where it's about short and rapid acting insulin scale here again you can see there are different blood glucose levels with different units for different insulin sensitive patients so like there are more than 20 protocols so you just have to have an idea regarding this so usually an institution will have their own protocol and based on that protocol insulin infusions are given. insulin infusions are preferred for ip patients so like most of the patients undergoing surgery or having complicated comorbidities if they are already on insulin when once they are admitted in icu or intensive care we have no idea what's what was their insulin uh, pattern so usually insulin infusions are preferred so this is the best way to manage hyperglycemia for ip patients so that's all guys in this video hope this video was informative make sure you subscribe to my channel because there is one more video in insulin dose calculation series hope this video was informative share it with your friends thank you and have a nice day ahead